Hi everyone and welcome to Johnny How To. In this second video of a branching video series, we're going to take a look at how we can use Unreal Engine source code to build not only Unreal Engine itself, but also incorporate NVIDIA's GameWorks technology into that build. Now in order to do that, there's a couple extra steps we need to take, but if you haven't already, please go back and watch video part one, because that's going to talk you through all the initial things you have to have in place in order to compile any version or any branch of Unreal Engine. If you aren't familiar with NVIDIA GameWorks, go ahead and just Google that exactly and you'll probably end up at this page. And if you click on any of these, you'll get a description and videos kind of demoing the technology. But as far as getting it compiled in Unreal Engine, I'm just going to go ahead and click on NVIDIA VXGI to start with. And in turn, I'm going to go ahead and click on the Unreal Engine GitHub link right here. And now I'm at a page that's explaining the different offerings that they have inside of Unreal Engine. The catch is you have to compile it on your own and through NVIDIA directly, only one of these can be included in a single build. If you wanted to have all of them in one, go back to my first video and at the very end I have links to different ways of compiling Unreal Engine and I do have a video that talks about how you can try and get these all in one. That being said, if you want to go straight through NVIDIA and get the pure builds, you want to choose which one you have and in order to access them you have to have an Unreal Engine 4 and a GitHub subscription, which if you follow video one you already have, and then we'll go ahead and click on this link right here that takes us to the GitHub page for NVIDIA. Notice here I got the 404 error, and that is because I am not signed into GitHub currently. So if you ever happen to get that 404 error that I got, just make sure you're logged in to your GitHub account and also make sure that you actually have a Epic Games account itself that's linked through the process that I outlined in video one. And then if you go ahead and click on this link right here, you should be taken to a page we have access to the different NVIDIA Unreal Engine 4 forks. Now if I go ahead and use the drop down here, you can see they have a lot of different versions for all the different technologies that they have. And in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and go with VXGI, and I believe the newest version they have as of me making this video is VXGI 2 version 4.21 of Unreal Engine. Go and click on that, and I'll go and do the same process of doing the drop down here and just downloading the zip file. And that's going to download the branch of Unreal Engine 4 from NVIDIA where they've incorporated this particular technology into it. After the zip file download is completed, naturally you're going to want to extract it, which you can see I've done here. But one thing worth noting is you can see I double click and I actually have another folder inside here as well. And at this point, even if I have it on the base of a drive, I'm one, two, three folders deep. And in this case, quite a number of characters deep as well. The bat files that we're going to need to run are the setup.bat and the generate project files.bat. And these batch files sometimes will throw you errors if you have too deep of a folder structure. So what I'm going to do in this step is I'm going to go ahead and take this folder right here. I'm actually going to move this to a shallower branch on my hard drive. So I'm going to do that real quick and then I'll come back. All right, so as you can see, all I've done is I've moved the folder to the root of my particular drive and I'm going to run this setup.bat file just to make sure everything runs successfully. I'm going to right click and do run an administrator with the screen recording. My screen's going to go black for a second, but once I click on yes, it's come back and you can see what it's doing now is it's downloading any extra files or dependencies it needs in order to later on build this inside of Microsoft Visual Studio. So I'm going to go ahead and let this complete and then I'll come back again. After the window closes from the setup batch file, we're going to go ahead and move on and do the exact same with the generate projects file batch file. And this one should finish a lot more quickly. And then after that, you're going to go ahead and move into Visual Studio. If you get any errors in this step, note what it's giving you an error for. And you may need to go back and modify your Visual Studio install and make sure you're including the particular modules it's giving you the error code for. The next step in this process is going to be compiling our source code for Unreal Engine inside of Visual Studio. And since this is going to be the same for whatever branch you're wanting to go through in this branch and series of videos, we're going to go ahead and stop this next video here, go ahead and click on the link, and we'll go ahead and pick up in the next video. So with that, I will see you in the next Johnny How To.